All right, in part one, we have already found eigenvalues. We know that eigenvalue one is equal to、um, five, and we have two eigenvalues over here. They are the same and negative three. And now we are going to look at eigenvectors corresponding to this eigenvalue. So we're going to find eigenvectors. Correspond to corresponds to lambda two three, and it's equal to negative three. Theoretically, this is just the same thing, but technically, they might be some differences over here. So we still look at a minus lambda i. So what it means is, and now we have lambda two minus a negative two minus lambda over here. And then we have two and negative three, and then we have two, and then have one minus negative three and negative six, and negative one over here, negative two, and zero minus negative three. Just be careful about the signs over here. And we want to solve this system over here. X one, x two, x three is equal to zero. We want to find out. Non-zero solutions, independent ones to this system. Now, from over here, what we have over here is this matrix. Really, we don't need these things because anyway, we're going to use row reduction over here. So we have three minus two is one, and then this is two, and negative three, and this is going to be two, and this is four, and this is negative six, and this is negative one, and negative. Two and three. We see this matrix over here is really easy. Actually, we simply can use negative two, multiply r one, and then add it to r two, right? And then we get zero. And we just add r one to r three, then we get a zero. So this is one and two, negative three, and we have zero and a zero and a zero. And we have zero over here. So what kind of system we have? We have a system like this: x1 plus 2x2 and minus 3x3 is equal to zero. Now, if you look at this one, that means this one over here, there is no leading one, no leading one. So x2, x3 both are free. X2, x3, you can say free. And then we move these two variables to the right-hand side. So x1 is going to be equal to negative 2x2 and plus 3x3.、Okay. Remember, x2 is simply x2, so over here, and x3 over here is simply x3. And we see the vector form over here. It's going to be negative 2 and 1 and 0, and multiplied by x2. And then we have the second one. Second one, we have three and zero and one and x three right here. So this is our eigenvector number one, and this is our eigenvector number two. So corresponding to eigenvalue negative three, we have. Independent, independent eigenvectors v1 and v2. Of course, any combination of v1 and v2, as long as it's not zero, it's going to be eigenvector. So really, we have a big eigen space over here. This one over here, the span. The span of these two vectors, we have v1, v2 over here. What it means is that all these vectors together, so it's s negative two, one zero, and plus t three zero one. All these vectors together, s t inside r1 over here. This is eigen space. Is the Eigen space of lambda is equal to 
negative 3. And it is dimension 2. It is of dimension 2. Okay. So we are done for this problem over here. We have two eigenvalues, 5 and negative 3. For 5, we only have one independent eigenvector. And for negative 3, we have two.